Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to solve complementary angles. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when solving for complementary angles. So the first thing we need to know is that complementary angles are two angles whose sum adds up to 90 degrees. This means that the measure of the first angle plus the measure of the second angle will equal 90 degrees. Another way of saying this is that the two angles will form a right angle. So for example, if you have complementary angles, they will typically look like this. They'll have the little right angle symbol, and there will be a little dotted line that indicates that there's two angles here, but the two angles added together will equal 90 degrees, which is a right angle. In order to find the missing angle in a pair of complementary angles, you can use the equation 90 minus x. Now, x in this case is the angle you know. So whatever angle you actually have, you're just going to do 90 minus that angle, and whatever that answer is, is going to be your solution. And the last tip is to check your work by adding the two angles together to make sure they equal 90 degrees. Now this one isn't 100% needed, but it is helpful if you want to double check your work. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Alright, let's go ahead and jump down to the first practice problem. This problem gives us a little diagram here, and it shows two angles. So we have our first angle of 25 degrees, and we have our second angle of x, which we do not know. So this is the angle we're going to be looking for. You can see we have a right angle symbol here, which indicates that the two angles together have to add up to 90 degrees. So if we know this part is 25 degrees, we can find out this missing part by subtracting this from 90. So we're going to say 90 degrees minus the angle we know, which is 25 degrees. 90 degrees minus 25 degrees is 65 degrees. So we know this angle here is going to be equal to 65 degrees, and this is going to be our answer. Now, if you want to double check, you can say, all right, so our two angles together, 25, plus the angle we just found out, which was 65, is going to add up to 90 degrees. And because they add up to 90 degrees, we know that 65 degrees has to be the correct answer. Moving on to the second practice problem on complementary angles, which this problem gives us another diagram. It also has a right angle symbol here, so we know they add up to 90. And this time, we know 27 degrees. We're going to use our formula 90 degrees minus the angle we know, which is 27 degrees. And 90 degrees minus 27 degrees is going to be 63 degrees. Our missing angle in this case is 63 degrees, and that's going to be our answer. And again, if you want to double check, you can say, all right, well, these two angles together have to equal 90, so we're going to say 27 plus 63 degrees. 27 plus 63 is 90, so we know that 63 degrees is our correct answer. And finally, our last practice problem, this time we have an angle of 60 degrees that we know and an angle of x that we don't know. We know they add up to 90, so we can say 90 degrees minus the angle we know, or this part that we know, which is 60, and that will give us 30, which is going to be the part here that we do not know. So that's going to be 30 degrees. And again, to double check, you can say, all right, well, our two angles, 60 degrees plus 30 degrees, will add up to 90. So we know that 30 has to be the correct choice. And if you would like to try some practice problems on complementary angles, go ahead and click on the link in the top right part of your video to get taken to a quiz that will grade your answers and tell you how you did. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!